and welcome to this Pharos Designer screencast with me, Simon Hicks. I'm going to show you how the DMX input trigger can be made more powerful with variables. Let's say you want to use a DMX input from a console to master the intensity of a group of fixtures. Take group 1, for example. So go to the trigger view and add a DMX input trigger. I'll call this the group 1 intensity master. Leave the port as 1 unless you're using two expansion modules on an LPC, and set the channel to whichever channel you want to use on the console, say 128. Leave the range as the full range of the DMX channel, and set the mode to on change. The on change mode means that this trigger will fire whenever the DMX channel changes within the range. So in this case, the trigger will fire whenever the DMX level changes. We want to master the intensity of group 1, so let's add a new set intensity action to the trigger and pick the group as group 1. Now, we could set the intensity to a particular value, say 50%, but it would just set it to 50% every time the DMX level changes. The alternative offered is to set the value from a variable. The DMX input trigger happens to be one of the many trigger types in designer that capture variables. Every time the trigger fires, it captures the value of the DMX channel and stores it as variable 1. You can use this value to affect the action of the trigger, and in this example, we'll use it to set the intensity of group 1 to the level of the DMX channel. So there it is, a DMX intensity master. Don't forget that you can check out the Faros Designer help for more information about the triggers that capture variables. Thanks for watching.